whoever gets offended could get offended i don't care it's 2024 you men really need to stop asking women what they bring to the table no you don't keep asking that and i can already tell from this video that somebody asked her that and she's pissed off and like all other women you got to get on social media and make this blanket statement telling women what to do all this advice because you had an experience of a man saying what do you bring to the table and you didn't like it fellas keep asking the question just like women want you to qualify for them you they need to qualify for you so ignore that keep asking your questions like what type of question is that and let me tell you women something if a man really cares about you he will never ask you what you bring to the table well, for a man to get to the point where he actually cares about you, you got to pass the test. You got to be able to qualify for what's on the list. That doesn't come beforehand. And this is what a lot of you women think. You think a man needs to show and prove and do a song and dance for you in the beginning to show you, to prove his worth to you. And then miraculously, you will display all this feminine energy and this soft energy and this nur nurturing energy. That only applies when you qualify, not before. And y'all need to understand that. He will take care of you 100%. And just in case you dusties need to know or understand what women bring to a man's life, let me just list a couple of things. So there we go with the insults. You dusties, I wish for once that you ladies would have individual thought of your own and stop repeating other things that you hear women say, like this particular comment, dusties. A lot of this comes from that sprinkle sprinkle lady who happens to be married, who happens to not even care about you ladies. All you're doing is giving her views and putting money in her pocket. And as she lays in the bed at night with her, her husband, She's laughing at you. You don't know what this lady is doing after that camera goes off, but you all want to believe everything she says in those videos. And if it's not her, it's somebody else that's validating the point that you're trying to make. You're never going to get the man that you want by throwing out insults. It's the same thing for a man to say 304, call you a HO, all these things to call you these names. It's the same thing. It's not going to help you. So stop doing it. Be respectful. Be the person that you claim that you are, right? Honesty, loyalty, affection. Honesty and loyalty. Really? I want to see the majority of women be honest and be loyal. You're ridiculous. Family, a home, beauty. Beauty is not unique. First of all, you're average at best like most women, and there's nothing wrong with being average. Beauty, body parts are not unique. What is unique to every single human being is what's in here and what's in here. Not your body parts, not how pretty you look. And to be honest, a lot of these women, like this is TikTok, right? She's talking about beauty. She probably has a filter on here. Like the majority of them do. But they're talking about beauty. Definitely ain't no natural beauty. It ain't no beauty coming from in here. Intelligence. A confidant. A friend. We don't want friends. Okay? We have friends that we go play basketball with. Y'all need to understand that. I don't need a friend. Men don't need friends. If... We want friends, we can have friends, but we don't sleep with our friends. We're not in the relationships with our friends. Y'all need to stop putting that word in there. Someone that you will be able to grow old with. The mother of your children. The mother of our children. I'm sorry, does that apply for all the women that are like to uh, the danger zone when it comes to having children? Does that include the women that put all their finances and all their goals and their dreams first before family and then wait till they're like 35 years old to have children? Oh, well, maybe it's the, the women that already have children and they expect men to come in that are not the fathers and take care of them and you. Hmm, make it make sense. So next time... A man asks you what you bring to the table, literally look at him and laugh. 
And if you keep laughing, you're going to laugh all the way to loneliness. You're going to be lonely laughing, listening to advice like this, which, like I say all the time, is usually coming from a personal experience. And then they then have to get in these videos and make a blanket announcement to all women and tell women, don't do this, don't do that. Laugh in their face. How is that working out? Like, we're not bringing this energy into 2024. So, man, please stop being dusties and leave that shit out. Don't ask that question. And if you're going to ask that question, you're not ready to date. Period. I'm sorry. Whoever gets offended could get offended. I don't care. You're just not ready to date. Whoever. They're not ready to date you because you're not ready to date. Because see, a lot of you ladies, what you think is I'm going to act any way I want. I'm going to say whatever what, whatever I want to say. I'm going to treat men any kind of way until I get in a full-on relationship with them. And then all of a sudden, I'm going to become this nurturing, nice, soft woman. I need the commitment to make me turn that on. Or I need a man to do a certain thing for him to bring that femininity out of me. No, either you're feminine or you're not. Just like either you're masculine or you're not. There is no on and off switch. And the more and more you ladies keep acting so masculine like this, the more and more you keep making men run the other way. Men simply don't want to deal with it. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.